QA Metness. Mobile Testing Tools for Beginners Mobile testing tools are very diverse, and QA engineers use them not only for automation. Today, I will tell you briefly about the types of tools applied in mobile testing and some solutions our team uses and highly recommends. There are a variety of tools that serve different purposes project management and planning, test design and execution, communication and reporting, virtual devices and bug trackers. That's a lot to keep in mind. So let's start with the basics the essentials for mobile QA. If you are just starting with mobile app testing, start simple. Use developer tools that operation systems offer. They consider the specification of native devices and are free to use. Xcode, Android Studio, and Chrome Dev tools belong here. Let's take a quick look at each. Xcode is Apple's integrated development environment. You can use it to build apps for Apple products and manage the entire development workflow, including app testing. You can see a list of some features on the screen. Similarly to the previous solution, Android Studio provides tools for building apps on every type of Android device. It allows you to test an app on a variety of devices and API levels, as well as provides a bunch of other opportunities. The next item on our list is Chrome Dev Tools. You can use this solution for mobile testing through the remote debugging feature. Connect your device, authorize, and start debugging. Chrome Dev Tools also comes as a browser extension Mobile Dev Tools. Speaking about its useful features, you can see some on the screen. The better a QA engineer describes a bug, the easier it will be to fix it. That's why various screening tools are very helpful during testing. Some of the favorite ones among the QA Madness specialists are Monosnap, DU Recorder, and the native iOS recording tool. Monosnap is a universal screening tool for desktop use. It allows making screenshots and arranging them in collages. It also records videos of the full desktop or a chosen area. Monosnap has its own cloud for storing content, history, and short links for sharing access. DU Recorder is a powerful video recording tool for Android that offers advanced video recording and editing features. For iOS, you can use the native recording tool. It is reliable, responds fast, and records higher resolution videos. During mobile app testing, you shouldn't focus on the interface checks only. Every interface change is followed by software sending a request to the server and receiving a response. It can create a lot of room for mistakes. The QA Madness makes sure to test different scenarios, like bad network connectivity and slow third-party API responses. When you configure a web browser to access the internet through Charles, you can view and record all the data sent and received by an app. So Charles Proxy helps to detect serious issues that are not evident on the UI level. And here comes the all-in-one solution. I've already mentioned BrowserStack in the previous video, but AppLive is only one of the solutions this platform offers. With BrowserStack, you get access to over 2,000 real browsers and devices to check how your app or website behaves on each of them. Different tools allow you to run interactive app testing, screenshot and responsive design testing, and speed across iOS and Android devices using different browsers. You can see the list of these tools on the screen. Speaking about automation, Appium is the most common tool for automated mobile app testing. It is an open-source cross-platform solution that can be used for native, hybrid, and mobile web apps. Any web driver-compatible language can be used to write test scripts in Appium. The tool is easy to set up on different platforms. You don't need to recompile apps or have access to the codebase to test them. Finally, you can integrate Appium with various frameworks and tools. Let's recap. Always start with well-known and widely used tools. They are likely to cover the majority of your needs. Besides, learning how to use more sophisticated solutions will be easier if you already know the basics. You can find the links to all the mentioned tools in the video description below. Thank you for watching the video and come back for more.